the oh my gosh it's a dragon we've got a dragon where did you go Hello everybody, Wild Tracker here and welcome, welcome to another episode here on the Revenge of the Sea Team server. Yes, we're playing some more modded Minecraft and we're going to do a little bit of exploring today. I am probably totally unprepared for uh, what we're going to do um, and that's going into this place here. Yes, Portal to the Abyss. Um, so I was talking to Smithy the other day, we were talking about... Um, dollies and the fact I wanted a diamond one so I could move some spawners and he said that Andy's got some over here um, is that the ticking I, I'm li I'm stood here looking for some ticking and the t it's a clock it it's okay yeah so anyway um, and he told me that Andy found them in the abyss so I don't know whether the chance cubes in the abyss are better than the ones we have in the overworld because to be fair they're, they're pretty rubbish in the overworld so um, I've not been to the abyss I have no idea what it's going to be like um, it could be something really really horrible it it, it I, I have no idea so let's let's convert anyway and let's get our armor on uh, so at least we can fly away but yeah I thought today we we would just go in what's it oh oh what's it doing where are we going? Oh my gosh. Okay, can we fly? Yes, we can. So that's okay. That's that's good. So it, it's actually very similar to before. Um, but there are... Ah, these are these clubs I carry. Wow, they got some health, haven't they? Yeah, okay. Lots of these uh, guys. Okay, fair enough. Um, I wonder if I can pick up another club though. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? I wonder if we can just sort of, you know, how are these guys and 100 health. That's not too bad. But he's got the same club as me, so I don't want him to actually um, completely trash me, kill me. But I see there's normal mobs being killed here as well, which is pretty cool. Yes, I've got one of those. Um, so we'll have that. Thank you very much. Um... Yeah, cool, that's a spare one, but mine hasn't run out at all. Sharpness 5, that doesn't actually have anything on it. So I wonder if you can actually enchant these. Oh, there's a strange mob, isn't it? It's like, what's what is he called? He's he's a an abyssal zombie. Okay, fair enough. Whoa, hello, sorry, I forgot you might come up behind me. Oh, skelly, okay. Yeah, okay, so there's a few, few different mobs in here, and I can hear a... Um, I can hear a, a what do you call it? Uh, Android somewhere. So uh, we got some ores here. So what is this ore? This is abyssal ore? Abyssal Corallium ore? I have no idea what we use it for. Can we get it before this guy comes and tries to kill us? Oh, he poisoned us. Okay. Fair enough. You want to poison me? You can poison me. Or was it that that poisoned me? No idea. Right, okay, so what have we got over here? We've got obsidian towers of some shape or form. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, what's at the top of these towers? I dare say... Anti oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, that, that's a good point. How do, how do we get out of here? Um, we just appeared, didn't we? Um... Okay. <laughs> I didn't think about that. We could be in here forever. Um, how do we exit the abyss? Hmm. There is no physical portal, is there? There's just these worlds. Right, let's 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 bookmark this um anyway. Let's uh let's bring up the map. Yeah, it doesn't really help us very much. Do we need we can't put anything like that on? Right, let's make a waypoint. Um, new, and this is where we spawned. So that will do. Okay. At least we know where we spawned. Um, but yeah, what are these towers? Let's go up and have a look up here. Um, and how do we get out? <laughs> 
See, I do the... Oh, diamond blocks. A, a block of diamond? Wow. Yes, yes. I hate the fact that you can't uh, do a one-by-one one hole sometimes on these. Right, let's go down. There we go. The block of diamond. That's 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 very nice. I'll I'll take that. There's another block of diamond over here as well. There is. Cool. Okay. So yeah, it's not a bad place. This this you know, this isn't a bad place. Um, I just hope we don't have to make some kind of portal to get back, and we haven't got the ability to do it. Uh, what else is around here? Let's let's get back down, lower down. There's more of these pillars around, so I guess they're easy enough to raid at some point. We got these oceans as well that those mobs look like they're um, sitting on. Hi guys, how you doing? Can I can I can I take your? Oh, you're taking some kind of hit skeleton whatever you are Goliath yeah so these the, oh my gosh it's a dragon we've got a dragon where did you go oh, a sp spectral dragon did it say yeah it did okay can we kill you without dying ourselves Well, I wasn't expecting a dragon in here, that's for sure. Let's see if we can chase you then. Yes! Okay, that's an easier way to do it, isn't it? So, I'm now a dragon. Okay. I haven't moved very far. Um, we seem to have found a few different things already. Let's head over this direction. Um, it's an interesting landscape. Oh, there's some of those um, like we get in the overworld. So, with these creatures underneath, I dare say. Yeah. Don't think there's very much in those. I haven't seen anything that um, gives you anything nice out of them, other than the fact those mobs are in there. I don't think there's any spawners in there or anything like that. Uh, what else can we find around here? So, um, some more of this gemstone, whatever it is. Um... We probably need to collect that up at some point. Let's have a look. What was it called? Corallium, Corallium Gems. Quite a few Corallium Gems. Any other structures around here? Uh, would you like to give us your your battle thing so we can enchant it and get something even better than just sharpness? No. Okay. Lots of mobs, which is a bit of a pain because they seem to be spawning all the time. Hello, dude. Yeah, there's some normal mobs as well. So, um, that one of these pillars. So, I think what we're going to do is you've got a gun. Um, yeah, it's just have a little look around, really, see if we find anything new at all. Oh, look, looks like a structure over there. As we speak, some kind of structure. I haven't seen. <laughs> I was about to say, I haven't seen any chance cubes or anything like that yet. And hey presto, there's one there. So, um, yeah, interesting. Right, you guys should be easy enough to hit. Let's go and have a look at what these structures are. There's chests in there, that's for sure. Um, did he give us anything? Oh, yes they do. Uh, condensed blood, coins. Oh, some more tea. Thank you very much. And... That's a special stone. Can we get... Aha! Okay. But I'm guessing, even though there's a way down there, I'm not going to fit very easily as one of these. Now, the thing is, what's it going to be like underneath? Is it going to be dangerous? So we're going to take the cheats way down. I think that's the best way, don't you? There's another chest down there, that's for sure. Okay, well, we might as well eat and then go and get it, I guess. Make sure we've got full health. We're regen in. Okay, is that it? And we got abyssal boots. Mm hmm. Okay, we don't necessarily need that. Is, is, is that all we get? 
Okay, fair enough. Let's just dump some of this off. We don't need anything like this. Uh, I might keep that on me. Uh, just throw all this into there. Because a lot of it we don't really need to be carrying. Cool. That'll do for now. And was there another one of these? There is. Oh, there's several of them. So does that mean they all have... Um, well, that was weird. There's like a barrier there. It's almost as if it's not there. Let's try this way. There we go. Let's have a look in there. Some chance cubes, some coins. Yeah, safari nets. I suppose we can try capturing some of these guys if we really wanted to. And I'm guessing again we're going to have the same... Ah, uh, right. Okay. That's because it's in the water, so we're not going to get that one. Let's try this one instead. Here we go. And again, more chance cubes. So we're going to have to try opening these chance cubes up um, and seeing what they give us. Bearing in mind... Ah, uh, that's a pain, isn't it? I don't even know what that liquid is. Uh, doesn't actually say, does it? No it's going down. Oh, does that mean it's under the water as well? Oh, it's going down. Okay, fair enough. Can we get you out of the way? We can. Can we then go in here? Golden apples and refined color. Oh, okay. So I presume that's what we can make out of these gemstones. So that's interesting. Um, should we break one of these chance cubes down and hope we don't die? That would that'll probably be quite good, wouldn't it? We're not dying. Um, we've got a red heart from him, so let's see what we get. Hopefully it's not a deaf one. Uh, it's alive, it's alive. Yep, I have no idea what is alive, but... Ooh, wand of animation. Oh, okay, cool. I think... Ooh, you made me jump. I think this is something that we can make blocks. Yeah come alive <laughs> which is pretty weird really um, but they do do things I think they can give like we can animate a, um, a diamond block for example um, yeah so that's, that's interesting okay let's see what else we can get then let's do another one of these uh, right cookie monster thank you don't want a cookie monster so many mobs so many mobs oh one of these out in the outside world now um some more cubes over here so i'm just wondering if this is a complete new world rather than you know one um that andy's been to or someone else has been to is it new every time i don't know uh herobrine join the game ah i'll be back for you he's gone haha <laughs> Didn't like the fact that I killed him last time. Uh, let's do another one over here. And then we're going to have a look see if there's any more st structures after this. Yeah, there's another one over there. So I guess this is the kind of loot we've got. Ugh. How did I die using magic? Where do we spawn now? Okay, so we spawn back here. Can we go slash back? No. Can we not do that? Yes, we can. Aha! Okay. Um, I thought we got rid of that. Okay, now you're dead. Right, um, that's where we died then. And it brought us back. So at least we know we can get out of this world by dying. That's a positive thing, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to... Um, do a little bit more exploring, a uh, little bit more raiding, and see if this army of people follow me or not. See if we find anything else decent or not, as the case might be. As you can see, we are back at the beginning. So this is where I made that waypoint to show where we'd spawned. And yeah, I was trying to figure out how do we get back without actually dying. And um, there's, there's an easy answer, something I didn't really see before. And that's this portal here. 
So all you people face farming going, there's a portal! Yeah, there's a portal. Um, obviously I didn't see it when I came here, I went straight up. And it is one of those things that is really, really difficult from the air to actually see it exists. Because it's down here somewhere. I think it's that one there. Because it's using the same stone as what's used here. So yeah, um, simple answer, go into the portal. Uh, and thankfully it does clear quite quickly, which is really good takes us back to the portal room here at Andy's base and the lag here is real yes so sorry about the FPS so um, right let's head over to my base and then we can see what goodies we found and I'll share those bits with you so this is our spoils of war we've got um, quite a few new weapons as you can see I've used a few of them up as well, so uh, this one's pretty good, which is the sniper rifle, and that's the one that can see quite a distance before shooting. And these are pretty good as well, these tools, but yeah, I've used them all. Uh, this phaser rifle isn't quite as good as mine. Um, you can see this one causes 13 damage, that one's 9.8. Uh, but these were 1255, 11.5, they're not too bad actually, uh, and quite quick, so yeah, so we've got this armour, I don't know if this gives us extra, it's supposed to be more durable than um, diamond, but um, can give you abilities like breathing underwater, running fast and that sort of thing, so I believe, um, so I've not tried those, obviously we've got this wand of animation, we'll have a look at that in a second, um, we've got lots of new trophies and new pets, um, so they're sort of quite basic, and then lots of different loot, and there's most of this from the chance cubes or from the um, the area, so we've got a bit of cash put in the cash machine, three beacons, no dollies unfortunately, so um, yeah, what I'm hoping to do with this wand, and we do actually have one of these already because Andy gave us one, but um, if we right click it, it turns it into a mob, and if we right click it again, gets rid of it. So if we were to put this in a safari net we could put it into a spawner and we could just spawn unlimited amount of diamonds. I guess that might work and might, maybe that's something we will try in another episode. The other thing about uh, where we've been, we've kind of scratched the surface. I think it's really um, a, a thing where we can sort of try and attack uh, different levels. So if we look at this, if we take these uh, Corallium gems and surround it with an iron ender, we get this power stone tracker. Now evidently this is, can be used to find strongholds over there and then there are bosses we can summon using an altar and things like that. So certainly more to explore in there but uh, I had a lot of fun uh, at least sort of you know having a look around going in blind so to speak because I say I've not really sort of done any of that and yeah we got quite a lot of stuff from it which is quite nice so quite a nice area if you just want to wander around you can get those sort of uh, bits done so I'm going to tidy these up we did actually get uh, did we actually get it there notch apple as well it's not just golden apples we actually got a notch apple which was pretty good so um, and some more earl grey tea and some more Romulan and ale and we're gonna have to get our replicators going so we can replicate this stuff uh, that would be quite nice wouldn't it so yeah that's uh, I think uh, another episode we shall go back in there and explore the abyss a little bit more and perhaps um, you know go and see if we can fight some of the bosses that are in there that would be pretty cool to do I think so uh, but yeah we'll leave that for another episode and what I've got to do now is try and work out how I can charge my weapons um, because there's got to be a way something I can put them in I don't know if there's anything actually in um, Let's have a look now. Um, in inventory, um, the NEI is missing, which is. And I can't remember which number I've got to press to bring it back, so I'm going to have to find that out. That's better. It was O. Uh, right, okay, at Matter Overdrive. Uh, let's just have a look and do we have. I know there's a charging station there, but that's for Androids to charge Androids. Um, star maps, Android stations, Matter Recycler, uh, don't want one of those, Matter Replicator, that's something we need to look into, Transporters, okay, didn't know we could do those, how, how do you make Transporters, mm, yeah, okay, 
Heisenberg compensator. <laughs> the Heisenberg. I always, always remember they asked Gene Rodenbury. They said, "How how did how does the Heisenberg compensator work?" And he says, "Very well, thank you." So <laughs> it's, yeah, no one knows how it works, but it compensates anyway. Uh, analyzer, no network switch, no. So okay, so if any of you guys know how I can charge, can I just charge them in like a? Um, you know, a non-mob thing, but there must be ways of actually charging them. Base ship, scout ship. Can you make a scout ship? A fast ship used for scouting? No, doesn't look like it. Um, matter container, because I know we've got these battery pack, energy packs. So you can make energy packs, high capacity battery, but how do you actually charge them use for rapid charging to reload energy weapons so how do you use those what what do we need to use them in if you do know let me know and I'm going to try and find out anyway in between episodes but there must be a way a machine that we have to stick these battery packs in module inscriber it's not that that's for sure Mm, I don't know. Um, it's going to be in something. Something somewhere will require it. Weapon station. Ha ha! Is that what it's going to be? A weapon station. Hold shift for details. Used to upgrade and charge things. Okay, how do we make these? Wow, okay. Um, not too bad, actually. Not too bad. So that's what we need is a weapon station. Now the question is, do we have a weapon station? We have a weapon station. Uh, we don't need to make one after all that, he says. Okay, now here's the next question. Um, ooh, okay. So did we get some energy pack? So let's hold shift, use, do they have anything in, do we just plop those in there, can we put that in somewhere, aha, and then, so battery, do we, can we put those in, that there must be a way, configuration, disable redstone, home, um, Hold shift for details. So let me try a weapon that has been fully used. I'm working this out as you're working this out. You know as much as I do. So let's, um, yes, you probably know a lot more. So can we put those in there? No, you see, they won't go in there. Dilithium focused color modular. Okay. Interesting. But when we put that in there, it's got, aha, uh -huh, energy pack used for rapid charging to reload energy weapons and battery input output. But how do we charge those? Ah, oh, I'm going to have to, hang on a minute. Okay. That can't be fully charged. No. Is that the one I was using? Level 13? I don't get it. I I don't get it. Cause that that's now got some charge in it, but that's got charge in it, but it's got no. I have no clue. But this is pretty cool. Let me just show you this before we go. The episode's going on a bit now. Um, so we can we can shoot, but we can also laser drill. So we can actually dig things up with this from a distance which is pretty cool and quite quick as well actually so uh, that's not too bad and I believe it works on if I'm not going to use it on those bits because I'll end up destroying my base but I'm gonna have to look into this weapon station see how it works because that is beyond me in terms of how how that works and blah 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 so because I don't get how that is suddenly charged up because I took that out. 
Who knows? Who knows? If you do, let me know in the comments. That would be wonderful. Let me take off my hat so you can see me. Cool. There we go. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that episode, guys. If you have, like the by hitting that button down below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed for more videos like this. And come and join us next time as we play Revenge of the Sea Team. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.